Hi there, I'm Ben from Megatech. And in this video, I'd like to introduce the Megacold brand. Megacold provides a range of cooling solutions, primarily for the thin film and laser engraving industries. Today, we're gonna to look at the CW5200 chiller. This is a recirculating water unit offering 1.7 kilowatts of cooling capacity. This versatile unit can be used in a range of applications, including, but not limited to, cooling various types of lasers, CNC spindles, and welding equipment. This particular chiller is manufactured by SNA Tape, a global leader in laser systems cooling. Being authorized agent for SNA, we hold a stock of a variety of chillers for immediate dispatch to the UK and Europe. Let's now take a closer look at key features of the CW5200. Here we have the intelligent temperature controller. When required, it will bring in the compressor, providing consistent cooling with a 0.3 degrees Celsius accuracy. The status lamps give an indication as to whether the system is operating correctly. If the alarm lamp is illuminated, it suggests there is an issue that needs to be resolved. This could simply be low water in the reservoir or a blockage in the cooling roof. In this case, an audible buzzer will sound. Please refer to the manual for fault codes allowing easy diagnosis using the alarm out function. If the green lamp is lit, this confirms the chiller is functioning properly. Installation takes only a few minutes. First, connect the cooling water loop to the heat load. For demonstration purposes, we have simply looped out the inlet and outlet. The alarm output port can be used to observe common faults. Connectors are provided to allow easy setup. Please refer to the manual for the wiring diagram. Next, fill the reservoir. Remove the fill cap and add water until the indicator is within the acceptable range. Distilled water is recommended to prolong the life of the equipment. Before running the chiller, disconnect power to the rest of your system in case of any leakages on the initial startup. Plug in the power cable provided and switch on the chiller. Now check for any water leaks along the cooling loop. The chiller will now control the temperature to the factory setting of 25 degrees Celsius. The controller will display the temperature value. If you wish to make any changes to the parameters, please see the manual for further instructions.